What if Wayne Gretzky, the greatest hockey player of all time, had never left the Edmonton Oilers? It's a question that's plagued hockey fans for decades. Would the Oilers have continued their dominance throughout the 1980s? Would Gretzky's career have become even more impressive? Welcome to Downward Dog, where we bring you the most mind-boggling scenarios. Subscribe now and join our community. In this video, we explore five different scenarios that could have played out if Gretzky had stayed in Edmonton. But first, let's quickly recap what actually happened. In 1988, Gretzky was traded to the Los Angeles Kings in a blockbuster deal that shook the hockey world. At the time, Gretzky was already a legend in Edmonton, having led the Oilers to four Stanley Cup championships in five years. But the Oilers were struggling financially, and owner Peter Pocklington believed he could not afford to keep Gretzky on the team. The trade was a seismic event in the hockey world, as Gretzky was not just a great player, but a cultural icon. He had led the Oilers to a level of success that few teams have ever achieved, winning four Stanley Cups in just five years. Gretzky's departure from Edmonton was a bitter pill to swallow for fans for the team, and it took years for the city to recover from the shock. The trade was also a financial decision for the Oilers. At the time, the team was struggling financially, and owner Peter Pocklington believed that he could not afford to keep Gretzky on the team. Gretzky was not just a great player, but also a massive draw for fans, and his departure had a significant impact on the team's revenue. First Scenario Now let's dive into the first scenario. What if Pocklington had found a way to keep Gretzky in Edmonton? In this scenario, the Oilers would have continued their dynasty throughout the 1990s, winning several more Stanley Cups and cementing their place as one of the greatest teams in NHL history. Gretzky would have become even more of a legend in Edmonton, and his career statistics would have been even more impressive. If Gretzky had stayed in Edmonton, the Oilers would have likely continued their dominance through the 1990s. The team was loaded with talent, including Mark Messier, Yari Kuri, and Glenn Anderson, and Gretzky's presence would have made them even more formidable. The Oilers won one more Stanley Cup in 1990, but with Gretzky, they could have won several more. Gretzky's presence on the team would also have made him even more of a legend in Edmonton. He was already a beloved figure in the city, but if he had stayed and continued to lead the team to championships, he would have become a godlike figure. Second Scenario But what if Gretzky had left for the Oilers for another team? In our second scenario, we explore what could have happened if Gretzky had joined the New York Rangers instead of the Kings. The Rangers had not won a Stanley Cup since 1940, and Gretzky's arrival would have given the team a much needed boost. Could Gretzky have led the Rangers to a championship in the early 1990s? If Gretzky had not stayed in Edmonton, he could have joined another team. One team that was rumored to be interesting in acquiring him was the New York Rangers. The Rangers were a storied franchise, but they hadn't won a Stanley Cup since 1940. Gretzky's arrival in New York would have been a huge boost for the Rangers. The team had a strong core of players, including Mark Messier, Brian Leach, and Adam Graves, but they lacked a true superstar to lead them. With Gretzky, the Rangers would have had one of the best players in the league and a true leader on and off the ice. It's possible that Gretzky could have led the Rangers to a championship in the early 90s. The team came close in 1992, making it to the Eastern Conference Finals before losing to the Pittsburgh Penguins. With Gretzky on the team, the Rangers may have been able to get over the hump and win the cup. Third Scenario in our third scenario, we look at what could have happened if Gretzky had joined a rival team like the Calgary Flames or the Vancouver Canucks. Could Gretzky have led those teams to championship glory? If Gretzky had not joined the Kings or the Rangers, he could have potentially joined a rival team. The Calgary Flames and Vancouver Canucks were two teams that were rumored to be very interested in acquiring Gretzky. Joining a rival team would have been a controversial move for Gretzky, especially if he joined the Flames, who were a bitter rival of the Oilers. However, Gretzky was a professional and he always wanted to win, so if he believed that he could help another team win a championship, he might have considered it. It's difficult to say if Gretzky could have led the Flames or Canucks to a championship, but it's certainly possible. Both teams had strong rosters and were perennial playoff contenders in the late 1980s and early 90s. With Gretzky leading the way, either team could have potentially won the cup. Fourth Scenario In our fourth scenario, we explore what could have happened if Gretzky had retired earlier than he did. Gretzky played until he was 38 years old, but what if he had retired at 35 or even 30? How would have that have impacted his legacy in the history of the NHL? Gretzky retired at the age of 38, but what if he had retired earlier in his career? 
It's difficult to say how that might have impacted his legacy, but it's likely that he would still be considered one of the greatest players of all time. If Gretzky retired at 35, he still would have had an incredible career. He would have retired as the NHL's all-time lead scorer and would have won four Stanley Cups. However, he may not have played for the Kings, which means that he might not have had the same impact or the growth of hockey in the United States. If Gretzky had retired at 30, his legacy would still be secure, but he would not have broken many of the records that he did. He may not have won as many awards or championships, but he would still be considered one of the greatest players of all time. Fifth Scenario Finally, in our fifth scenario, we explore what could have happened if Gretzky had never played hockey at all. What would his life have been like, and how would that have impacted the sport of hockey? It's difficult to imagine what Gretzky's life would have been like if he had never played hockey. He was born into a family of hockey players and seemed destined for greatness from a young age. However, if he had never played the sport, it's possible that he would have pursued another passion like golf or baseball. If Gretzky had never played hockey, it's likely that the sport of hockey would still be popular, but it's hard to say if that would have reached the same level of popularity in the United States without Gretzky's influence. Gretzky had a profound impact on the growth of hockey in the United States. When he joined the Kings, he helped to popularize the sport in non-traditional hockey markets like Los Angeles. His success with the Kings inspired a generation of young hockey players in the United States, and his impact can still be felt today. If Gretzky had never played hockey, the sport might not have had the same level of exposure in the United States. It's possible that the NHL would have expanded into non-traditional hockey markets like California, Arizona, and Texas, and the league may not be as popular as it is today. In conclusion, the impact of Wayne Gretzky on the sport of hockey cannot be overstated. His decision to leave Edmonton in 1988 changed the course of his career and had a ripple effect on the NHL for years to come. In this video, we explored five different scenarios for what could have happened if Gretzky had stayed in Edmonton. From winning multiple championships to joining rival teams to retiring early, we examined how these scenarios would have impacted Gretzky's legacy in the history of the NHL. Regardless of what could have been, one thing is certain. Wayne Gretzky will always be remembered as one of the greatest hockey players of all time. His impact on the sport cannot be measured in statistics alone, and his legacy will continue to inspire generations of hockey players for years to come. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to show your support by giving it a like and sharing it with others. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next video.